Yep. Hi there. Um, one of the commonest operations that plastic surgeons do these days is removal of old silicon implants. And uh, this morning, uh, I've operated with a lady who had her implants inserted 13 years ago. Um, they have served her well, but in recent years, she had a lot of pain in her breasts and also many symptoms of breast implant illness and um, muscle aches and pains, and fatigue and hair loss. And interestingly, um, when we removed the implant, we found that one of them had ruptured and the other was still intact. We did a total capsulectomy, a breast lift, and also a fat transfer to replace the volume. And I'd just like to show you what the implants look like um, on removal today. So we'll just zoom in here. This is the implant that was intact. You see it's a textured silicon implant, a textured surface. And this is the implant that had um, ruptured. So there's still part of the um, um, membrane, the capsule, or the wall of the implant remaining, but all the silicon was just lying free. And of course this silicon, you see how it oozes onto the paper, and in the same way it was oozing really into her body. And uh, many people believe that this is the reason uh, that patients can develop multiple allergies because the silicon acts as an adjuvant and triggers autoimmune disease. So um, we expect she'll be a lot better following removal of these implants.